Hi there, Adam Bowles here at Rumlin Bald Resort. This is our Bald Mountain course. This is hole number one. It's a par five, 515 yards from the back tee. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to play this hole. First of all, you can see it's a little bit of a dog leg left. It's wide open, not a lot of trouble off the tee. If you can hit a good drive here, you might be able to reach it in two. So I'm going to set up for a little bit of a draw right to left. I'm going to play it off that bunker on the right side. All right, we're here in number one fairway. Just hit a fantastic drive, but I got a little bit of wind in my face. I'm not sure I can reach it in two. I've got around 230 yards in, so I'm going to hit a layup shot. For this shot, I've chosen a seven iron. And by looking at the way this hole is shaped, I've got a sand bunker on the left side of the green, so I'm going to want to lay up my ball a little bit right of that so I have an easy approach into the green. Okay, I've just hit a layup shot, but now it's time to go for it. I've got a 20 degree hybrid in my hand. I've got about 230 yards in. I've hit a great drive. That's the only reason why it set me up for this. I do have to worry about that big bunker on the left side, so I'm going to try to hit a draw up the right side of the hole. If I happen to miss it a little bit, I'll still have a good angle into the green. Looks like we got an eagle putt. We've reached the green at two here at number one at Bald Mountain. I've got a putt that's probably going to be about 20 feet. It's a little bit of a right to left. Everything does break towards Bald Mountain here on this golf course, so always think about what, that when you're playing. Um, this particular green slopes heavily from back to front, so I've got to take that into consideration too. This particular putt happens to be a little bit uphill, so I'm actually going to play probably six inches on the right outside edge and I hope I make this eagle. So I've picked my line. I'm a little bit off the green so I've got to make sure that I get the putter through the ball and just make a good stroke. Oh, that close. <laughs> right, we're here at number two, par three here at Bald Mountain. It's 176 yards here from the back tees. It's a very well guarded hole. As you can see, we've got two big bunkers in the front and we've got trees in the back. This is the green you want to hit in one shot right in the middle of the green. You don't want to worry too much about attacking pins. So I've chosen a little less loft on this one than I typically would because I've got the wind in my back. I'm looking to hit a nice high towering shot. Again, I'm going for the middle of the green. Worked out very well. All right, number two green here at Bald Mountain. I've just hit a very good shot into this green. And again, I want to take advantage of this. I've got a birdie putt. I have around 10 feet to the hole. This putt should be breaking slightly left to right, which seems a little odd since the shelf is just to its left, but the shelf is actually a mound and it should lift it up a little bit, causing the ball to peel off to the right. And we do have some wind, which will help push that ball to the right as well. Again, a birdie putt. I'm thinking solely about making this putt. I do not want to leave it short. If I happen to go past the hole, I'm looking to go past maybe a foot and a half at most. Titleist. We're back here at Bald Mountain number three. We're in the shadow of Bald Mountain. We've got a 440 yard par four. Is an absolute monster from back here at the back tees, so it is imperative that you hit a good tee ball. We got a dog leg right, we cannot see what's around the corner, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick an aiming point out in the fairway. I see my 150 marker. I'm gonna try to hit anything I can close to that 150.
I've got myself in a little bit of trouble. I've hit the ball left of the fairway. I'm in a small amount of rough. I've got a very difficult shot into this green. It's an elevated green. It's one of the harder greens out here at the golf course to hit. The pin happens to be in the back left. Again, probably the hardest pin position on this hole. So I've got a task ahead of me. To, to be smart about this, I'm going to take a little bit of extra club for the yards that I have. I've got 188. I'm going to hit my 5 iron to make sure I get it there. And my direction is going to be on the right side of the green, just so I don't leave myself short. Should leave myself a birdie putt. Number three green, I just hit a very good shot into this green. Again, I was trying to stay away from the left side because there's a lot of trouble over there. So here I am on the right. I've got about a 40 footer. I'm going to read this. Taking a look at this putt, I'm noticing that the green has a shelf about 20 feet into the putt. It's going to start breaking off to the left. Again, everything does break towards Bald Mountain, which is just up here over my left. This particular putt I'm not looking to make, I'm looking to lag. So I've got about a three foot circle around the hole that I would be very happy with. So I'll take my stance, I'll pick my spot, and I'll swing through. Came up a little short, but I left myself an uphill putt for par, so I'm happy with that. Well, we're here at number four at Bald Mountain. It's a downhill par three. It's a very pretty hole. Unfortunately, the pin is tucked on the left today, so I'm going to have to take some precaution with this. It's 145 yards from the back tees. I'm going to hit a nine iron. I'm going to try to bring it in right to left. I don't have any wind hurting me today, which is very unusual for this hole, so we're going to take advantage of it. Again, that bunker is staring at me, so my line is probably going to be right in the middle of the green. Now let's go make a birdie. We're here at number four green. I've just hit a very good shot into it. I've got about 12 feet to the hole. I do want to take advantage of this and make birdie, but first things first, I need to fix my ball mark. Now that I've done that, I can concentrate on the task at hand. Like I was saying earlier, everything does break towards Bald Mountain out here. That's just over those trees in the distance. So lining up this putt, it is going to break right to left. I'm looking at about five inches past the hole, and for a putt this length, I'm trying not to come up short. If I miss it, I want to be past the hole, maximum 18 inches. We're on the fifth tee here at Bald Mountain. It's a par four. It's a very narrow hole and the green is actually out of sight. We're not worried about that. We're trying to hit as straight a shot as we possibly can. We do have OB up on the right and no man's land on the left. So take whatever club you can possibly use to get to that 150 stake. I'm actually gonna choose a driver. I've been hitting it fairly well so far today. My line is gonna be directly over that 150 yard stake. It should leave me a small sandwich into the green. Again, you use whatever club you need to to get your ball in play. just like that. Okay, I've hit a very good drive right down the middle of the fairway. I'm gonna take advantage of it. I did exactly what I wanted to do. I left myself with a sand wedge into the hole, about 70 yards. It's playing a little uphill. You can see we have an elevated green. It's actually a three-tiered green. And being a white flag today, I know that it's in the middle. So if I play a little bit long, it should bring it back to the hole. Anything short is gonna come right back down that hill. We're here on number five green. This is the three-tiered area I was telling you about. 
the cup is actually located on the top and I'm here in the middle so I've got to go up to the hole it's quite elevated I've got to worry about the break in this situation I know as it goes up it's going to want to break a little bit more than normal I've got my spot about two feet outside the left side of the cup got to make sure I make a good stroke at it it's okay if I come up a little short I'm looking again to get it in that two foot three foot window this is not one you want to be overly aggressive with. You don't want to leave yourself a downhill putt for par. Should be able to make that. Here on number 6T at Bald Mountain, it's a par 3. It is a fairly even hole as far as elevation, so I shouldn't have to factor any of that into my yardage. I do have about 160 yards to the hole. It's a blue flag today. It's in the back. This is one of those par threes that you can get sucked up into the beauty of it rather quick and forget how difficult it is. Get your par and get out of town. So the object is to hit it in the middle of the green. I'm not going to attack that pin, but I want to make sure I carry that bunker on the left. Should be fine. Okay, I have missed the green here at number six. I didn't take my own advice and go for the middle of the green. I pushed it a little bit. So as you can see, I'm setting up on the grass fairly well. I've got a short-sided pin that I need to chip to. So the thought process here is get it up high and get it up quick. I've chosen my 56 degree wedge. I'm going to hit a short, easy moving shot, almost mimicking a putting stroke, a straight back, straight through. Keep the club face square. I'm looking again for this ball to jump. I want it to end up somewhere around this general area. Hopefully if I land it here, it should roll out to the hole. Let's give it a go. And I got a pretty good putt for par. This is what I'm left with for par. I've hit a very good chip. I'm happy with it. I gave it a chance to go in the hole. Now I've got to convert my par putt. I've got around three, three and a half feet to the hole. I'm not going to think too much about the break in this. I really just want to hit it firm and go directly at the hole. There's no reason to come up short. I'm here at number 70 at Ball Mountain. It's a par five. It's not an overly long hole, but it does have a difficult tee shot. You have to make sure you put yourself in good position if you're going to go forward in two. Driver is not exactly the play on this hole unless you have control of it. The shot that I particularly like to do is to hit a little left to right cut. But if I have any type of wind or I'm not hitting the ball very well, I would take a little bit off and maybe hit a three wood or a hybrid. Always remember, hit your favorite club when you're in a tough situation. So for me, it's to hit a little left to right shot. So to do that, I'm going to open my stance. I'm going to visualize the shot shape against the mountain, and I'm going to think about exactly where it's going to land. And to do this, I'm going to swing across my body from right to left, imparting some left to right spin on it. right there. Alright, I made it to the flat number seven fairway. I've hit a very good shot. I'm excited about my opportunity to hit this in two. Problem is, it is a very difficult shot. It's a well guarded green. The one thing I do have going for me is left is okay if I want to miss it. Right is no good. I've got the cart path and the road that runs parallel with it. If I go left, I have number three fairway. I can have a fairly simple chip shot in. So now for this shot, I got about 220 yards. The wind is in my face. I'm looking to hit it with a left to right shot shape. So I'm going to try to do the same thing I did back on the tee box and try to bring it in a little bit left to right. All 
All right, looks like I've come over the top a little bit and I've hit it left, but like I said, it's okay if I'm over there. Let's go check it out. All right, number seven, my second shot into the green. We talked about this earlier. If you're gonna miss it, miss it left. That's exactly where I miss it. I'm not upset that I hit it over here. I have a fairly simple chip shot to this whole location. I am sitting down in this dormant Bermuda grass. It sits a little gnarly, so I gotta make sure I get the club head fast and underneath it quick. What I'm gonna do is, I'm looking at a 25 yard shot. I just wanna land this on the green and it should release out to the hole. So I'll open my stance a little bit. I'll put the club in the back of my stance to make sure that I'm getting down on it quickly and letting the club slide through. I'm looking at my spot that I wanna land it. All right, I have made it to the green safely. I did not hit the best chip shot, but I still have a birdie putt and I'm still pleased about that. I've got about 15 feet to the hole. It's a fairly simple putt. I'm not looking at a lot of break. Uh, Bald Mountain is over my right shoulder, but in this case, I can clearly see that the green is sloped hard from right to left. Um, this particular line to the hole, that slope does not play as much as you might think it does. So I might play this one two to three balls outside the right edge. Again, for a birdie putt, I'm looking to make this. I'm looking to convert. I do not want to leave it short. I want to leave myself a reasonable par putt coming back if I, if I happen to miss it. Take a practice stroke to try to feel out exactly what I'm going to do for this next putt. Keep my head down and stroke it through. Okay, I can make this putt coming back. I'll go ahead and walk up to it. I'm not gonna mark it, I'm not gonna slow down play. This is an easy putt, I just need to get over it and hit it. Always be thinking about pace of play when you're out on the golf course. Here at number eight, tee box at Ball Mountain. We're at the back tees, which is our blue set of tees. Um, it's a par four, it's not overly long, but it, again, it is tight. Most of the holes out here at Ball Mountain uh, you do have to have quite a bit of accuracy. Straight is obviously is obviously fantastic. Right is going to put you in a little bit of trouble, but you have more room left than you think. So any kind of shot that you can roll the ball over right to left would work very well here. Uh, but for me, I'm I tend to aim directly at the bridge in the distance and try to hit as straight a shot as possible. I've hit a wayward drive here on number eight. I've missed the fairway. I'm over on the right. I've got a little bit of tree trouble. Uh, these overhanging branches are gonna affect my shot to the point where I cannot go high with the ball. I need to go low. I've chosen a five iron. I'm gonna hit down on the ball. My visualization is something that's gonna come out fast and low and run up to the green. Again, that would be a wonderful shot, but what I'm trying to do is continue playing the hole and being as safe as possible. I uh, want to keep this next shot out of the bunker, so anywhere out in the open where I have a relatively simple chip shot would be a victory. So I'm going to play it in the back of my stance. I'm going to choke down a little bit so I can get a little closer to the ball. I'm going to be swinging downward at it to try to get the ball to come off low, and I've got plenty of loft so it should come off very fast. and that should work out fine. Okay, behind me you can see where we just came from. I just hit what I would consider a very good shot over from the trees. I've left myself a great possibility of getting up and down, up and down for par. Now you have a situation where you need to choose whether you want to chip the ball or whether you want to putt it. For me, putting anytime I can putt instead of chip is exactly what I'm going to go with. I do have a little bit of dormant grass and a couple tufts of grass that may affect the golf ball a little bit when it begins to roll, but this putt will always turn out better than a chip. So I've read the green. I can see it's gonna break a little bit left to right. My sole focus is getting it through this first part of grass and getting it up close to the hole. I'm gonna leave the flag in just in case I come off with too much speed 
it'll hit it and hopefully go in the hole. All right, I left myself a pretty good chance at par. I'm gonna walk up, I'm gonna take the flag out. Again, I'm looking at pace of play here. And I'm pretty happy with that par. Nine here at Bald Mountain, it's a par five. Uh, it's not an overly long hole, it's around 500 yards from the back tees. It is absolutely straight as you can possibly get with no hazards or no OB. I very much enjoy this hole. The way to play it is you want to make sure you get out into the fairway with this first drive. It doesn't matter exactly how far you are, but you do want to be in the fairway. That gives you the best chance of getting up and down for a birdie later in the hole. I do have quite a bit of wind in my face. For this particular shot, it's going to make whatever spin I put on the ball, it's going to over embellish it. So I'm going to try to take a little bit of spin off of this and hit it as straight as possible. Right down the middle. Well, I made it out to the fairway. I hit a very good drive down the middle. I've set myself up for a great shot into this green. However, this green is a little more well guarded than it looks. Uh, it is heavily mounded up around and so you have to be very accurate and hit it as straight as possible. If you do happen to lay up on this hole, uh, you will have a little bit of trouble if the pin is in the front. So you want to lay it back as far as you can if you see the pin in the front. Today the pin is in the back so we can hit it as hard as we want and hopefully get up and down. We might be on. All right, I've just hit my second shot into number nine. I've almost got on the green. I'm a little bit off to the side. I've got some furry grass. It just so happens the back pin position today, I've got to continue to go through the rough to get to the green. So I'm gonna take a little bit of extra line. I'm gonna be a little more aggressive than I would if I was on the putting surface. Anything within three, four feet here is actually a very good putt. And what I want to do is I want to look at my next putt more so than this first one. I can see if I go past the hole and to the left is actually an easier putt coming back than if I were to leave it short. So that's going to be what I try to do. I'm going to have to run it up through this grass and it should break right to left down to the hole. And again, you can see I'm leaving the flag in just in case I go by it a little too fast, maybe it'll stop it. I'll take that. <laughs> and this is my birdie putt. Make sure you extend the right foot out fully and put the club head underneath your legs and that you stroke through completely to the hole. Good birdie. <laughs> 